Hey, thanks very much, guys. Yeah, on a beautiful weekend that we saw, I wonder how many beer were consumed. I know I had just a couple. So you know what? We thought we'd go through the process. Step one here at Parallel 49 Brewing Company. We're doing the mashing. That's all coming up next on BT. Stay with us. Good morning to you, and yeah, I had some very good beer, not when I was 17, but in Alberta, you could drink when you were 18. Hey, Graham, we're here at Parallel 49 Brewing Company. Uh, first of all, thanks for getting up early for this morning. I know Danny's really busy. What was he doing, by the way, when we just kind of went to break there? Uh, Danny was checking <laughs> the uh, fermentation of some of our beers. Okay, excellent. Okay, so we're talking about the process of making beer. Starts with the ingredients, right? Yes. Yeah. So right here, we have some of the ingredients we use. Uh, this is our malt, and that's our hops. Uh, in the morning, Danny will get up and he'll crush all the malt so the husk of the barley comes off and we'll send it up this auger okay and then it goes into our case and we'll get ready for a mashing all right so what does it look like when it's getting into the mashing and what actually is in there other than the ingredients we just saw so we add hot water and crushed barley and we use a variety of barleys to obtain certain colors and certain flavors in your beer and how many variety of beer do you have here then uh, we make a lot of different beers okay um, right now i think we have six or seven and in the last year, we've done about 20 different beers. And will this one be a specific beer, or is this kind of the base of many of beer? This is a specific beer. Okay. So you one? can see the brown color. So this is our brown ale, this our old your... boy. Excellent. Very, very good. So you're good. gonna get a, a lot of chocolate kind of character from it, and that's that's kind of present in that in that brown color. Okay. So this malt right here uh, is our chocolate malt. Okay. So there's not really chocolate in there. I was just going to say, I was going to go, a little <laughs> bit of chocolate. And then you've got some gauges here. What, what kind of um, things are you looking for here specifically? Uh, so when we were mashing in, it takes about 15 minutes. And this is uh, cold water and hot water. Okay. So we do a balance to obtain the certain temperature we're looking for. It's all very specific. So <laughs> we'll go in at 72 degrees. And then when the mash is all in, it'll be 65 degrees. Fantastic. And the next process we're going to look for is what? The fermenting areas? Uh, well, actually, after the mash, we'll start extracting all okay. this sugar uh, wort. Right, it's called, and into our kettle. All right. So we'll boil all this wort um, in our kettle. We don't have anything in there yet. But it'll go basically in yeah, there. Yeah, and then wow. that's where the hops come into the brewing process. Excellent. Well, we're going to continue to make our beer here this morning at 49 Par or Parallel 49 Brewing Company here in Vancouver. For more details, you can go to their website. Uh, we've talked mashing, we've talked boiling, and now we are talking fermenting here at Parallel 49 Brewing Company. That's all coming up next. Stay with us. Brewing Company. We've done mashing, we've done boiling, and now where are we? We're in the fermentation cellar. Okay. So this is where after you boil your wort, it goes into these tanks, uh, and that's when it meets yeast, and that's when it's officially called beer. Okay. So then it, it takes off and ferments, and then that's when you get your alcohol and your carbonation. Now this is a little more crowded than usual because you've had a chance to expand. How many of these yes. fermenters do you have? Uh, about a year ago we started with this row, and okay. these are all 5,000 liters. And then we expand it with this row, uh, which are all 10,000 liter tanks. Wow, okay, so let's talk about what you do with this area here. Okay, so uh, after you put your beer into these tanks, uh, every day we take notes and record what's going okay, on. Okay, and you've got like a little notepad there. Or a yeah, so we take daily pH readings right. and sugar content. Okay. And then uh, we have these sample ports. So let's pour right here. So we'll take the samples and get an idea of what's going on. Well, that's a big pour you're doing right there. <laughs> yeah, so. Yeah, you'll see it's very milky. Okay. And that's all the yeast and suspension. So how far from being ready to drink is this here? Uh, this is on chill now, so we're just waiting for the yeast to fall out. So you, you can you can try it. Would you normally try it as part of the yeah. testing? Okay, so. It's almost there. Almost there, not yeah. quite ready, yeah. but definitely cloudy. I mean, you've got def different varieties here. Which is this one that I'm trying? This is our Seeds Bitter Watermelon Wit Beer. Okay, so when you talk about incorporating flavor, for anyone that's trying to incorporate flavor into their homebrew, what's the best piece, piece of advice you have? I would say just an uh, experiment. Yeah? You're only making, you know, 20 liters at a time. Right. So you can, you can kind of just try odd flavors and, and go nuts with it. And if it fails, you know, it's not that much beer to dump. And Kyle, listen to this. Just yesterday, how many pounds of sour cherries did you put into one of these fermenters? Uh, we put in a thousand pounds. A thousand pounds, Kyle. Yeah. Isn't that crazy? 
crazy. For more details on uh, Parallel 49 Brewing Company, you can go to their website, but uh, I'll be ready for any of these by the next weekend for sure. Dawn, on the end of the table there, Russ Lacate is pointing out that he'd like to sample the oh. banana hammock beer. The banana hammock beer for Russ Lacate, I think that that could work, right? That'd be perfect. Russ, Have you seen that guy at the beach? We got beach? him covered. <laughs> Yeah, thanks very much. We are here at Parallel 49 Brewing Company, and we are now taking it to the bottling process. And we got to thank you guys for giving us that little Laverne and Shirley little wave. How often do you get that request? Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Enough, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, so walk us through what we're seeing here. So uh, after the fermentation tanks, we need to get the beer in bottles. It's no good to us in a 10,000 liter tank. So uh, this is our bottling line. Uh, we have a big conveyor system where bottles, brand new bottles come through. Um, and they get fed down this conveyor system into our labeler. Okay, and there's the label over there. Gabe will get everyone to see that. And let's talk a bit about where the artwork comes. Who are these artists that do these fabulous labels that you have? <laughs> uh, we have one artist, his name's Steve. Uh, he's he previously done a lot of band artwork, and we loved his uh, kind of cartoony style. So we've used them for every label so far. <laughs> I love it. It's, I love it. And you've got several varieties. People can go to the website for more details. Once they're labeled, what's the next process? Well, they're all getting fed into our bottling machine. So they all get picked up in here. They get a good rinse to get any sediment out, and then. All the uh, air gets sucked out and CO2 replaced, and then they get filled with beer and they get capped. How many bottles of beer do you think you end up, uh, I guess how many bottles do you end up completing by the end of the day? Uh, well, this goes at about 77 bottles a minute or 4,600 an hour, and it takes about eight hours to do. That's incredible. Uh, and the whole process, again, for anyone wondering, start to finish from the point of the mashing to this takes about how long? Uh, brew day takes a day, and then to bottle, probably about three weeks. Wow, it's incredible. They have so many great varieties. Uh, it's all about craft beer this morning here at Parallel 49 Brewing Company, Jody and Riaz. Isn't this so interesting? I think it's so interesting. It just makes the beer taste all that better. Totally fun. Thanks very much, guys. Yeah, we're here at Parallel 49 Brewing Company. Before we go to break, what exactly is a growler? Uh, a growler is a refillable jug that you can take to your local brewery, fill it with beer, take it home with you, and then when you're done, you can rinse it and, and bring it back for another fill. I'll let you fill that up, but the question is, what kind of beer? Well, we're going to do a little beer tasting. Coming up next, stay with us. Fill that baby up there, Graham. Beer o'clock, yes, here at Parallel 49 Brewing Company. We've been here with Brewmaster Graham all morning long. What are you pouring right there, Graham? This is our new beer called Banana Hammock. Oh, very nice. That's one they figure <laughs> Russell Kate would like. But you know, people are wondering, how do I know what style of beer to go for? And is there a proper way to sip and drink beer, much like you would wine? Uh, yes, uh, you can see from these three beers we have, the color is a good indicator of what beer you're drinking. Uh, over here, with the, the darker the beer, you get more kind of roasted uh, chocolate kind of coffee flavors. Okay. Um, over here, it's a bit lighter. Uh, it's kind of an orange. You can get some caramel flavors, some just light sweetness. What gives that caramel flavor? What do you? What uh, it's uh, the way you roast a malt. Okay. It's a certain way. And then over here, you see this one is a bit hazy. This is our, our Hefeweizen. So this is unfiltered, where these two are filtered. We're starting to see an increase in popularity in the unfiltered beers. Yeah. But that is really the way it all comes out. Yeah, that's, originally that's how beer was. Yeah. Um, people just filtered it because it looks nice, but some beers you kind of want it unfiltered just for more flavor. Okay, so when you're looking at properly tasting a beer, how do we do that? Uh, the first thing you want to do is smell it. Okay. So you so. have the carbonation going, and it's coming out, and the aromas are coming. So what should I be smelling for then? So you're looking for a few characteristics. The yeast character. Okay. Um, and hop character, which is kind of this floral citrus flavor. Um, and then some of the malt characters, some of the chocolate, kind of caramel aromas. All right, and so then when I sip it, and then, and then, yeah, you look for the same kind of characters, but just in the flavor. Mm. So, Well, that is delicious. There are so many varieties here, and you actually have a tasting room here. At Parallel 49 Brewing Company, Russ, I know that you were interested in perhaps the banana hammock. Maybe we'll save a little taste for you. What do you think? <laughs> Very nice. <laughs>